Okay. I think we're good. Get that. You read that. Like, we don't even Oh. Uh, I need to change some part of the agenda and move to the right presentation as well as the voluntary day. One can get some money.
and the Student Government Association of the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. And to do my best to fulfill all the duties and responsibilities given to me by the students to advocate, educate, and serve the student body. Congratulations, you all have been sworn in. We have work to do, y'all. Uh, we have five months, uh, 10 meetings this semester, and we have some next semester. So we're going to get y'all into fall orientation after the vice presidential debate. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to give you a lot of information. Uh, if you don't understand or have any questions, you can always raise your placard and I will call on you or uh, set up a meeting with you. We can talk a little bit more about it. Um, yeah. Next, we're going to go into. The vice presidential debate uh, is going to be run by Alexis uh, Chair Nicola Boyce. What experiences have you created for the role of president? How will you look to? Thank you for that question. Um, from experiences that I've had serving in SGA for the past three sessions, I have served as the at large senator, uh, ASU liaison, and secretary of the affairs. During this time uh, at SGA, I've gained so much knowledge of how to properly run a Senate as well as help and find ways to fix what issues. They have the Senate. Um, also, to that experience, I've had the privilege to work with administrators around the campus as well as the UNT system. Thank you. Hi, Um, to me, the top three qualities that an SGA vice president does have the number one is effective communication. As a vice president of the Senate, which sometimes can be as small as eight up to about 36, so that's very important that we learn how to communicate effectively with the entire Senate as well as the president. The second duty is determination. Um, sometimes Senate can get very hard and a lot of emotions can be involved. So you must be dedicated to push through any tough topic or any trial that's going to go against uh, the Senate. And third, the most important, one of the most important qualities to me is just being able to know it and be empathetic. Because you have to understand what students are going through as well as what our senators are going through. Um, it's very important to understand that people are people and find the root to any solution that you may need. Thank you.
having a crime tells the citizens and having a plan to make Tennessee students feel included on campus and in the Thanks for that question. Any social Everyone who included in the conversation that we must and they need to have um, one way that I want to promote social justice with our students is just encourage them to still be on the city, just still be involved, reach out to their senators, uh, those that want to vote down and help them um, in their constituency. Also, with social justice, I just want to create just a safe space. Everyone's voices that need to be heard, and everyone has the right to speak their voice. Thank you. Was that often last month for Where do you see UNCG in 10 years, and how do you see the role of SGA growing in the In the next few years, I see you be still leading us to the top uh, social mobility organization that we are. In the next few years, I also see you should be striving to be uh, accessible MSI for every student and every person on campus. The next 10 years, hopefully, UCG will be one of the most important schools in North Carolina. So, uh, to me, it is. Um, also, in the next few years, SJ is going to play a huge role in that because right now we're laying the foundation for the 10 years. Uh, my mentor always tells to me, and you always uh, prepare for 25, but you plan for 35, which means that you have to plan 10 years or more than 10 just to make sure you're being able. So hopefully, the seeds we plant today will grow into the blossom tree for tomorrow. Thank you. In 10 years, I see. Uh, but in 10 years, I see UNCG growing as just a minority serving institution that it is, and SGA pushing that and serving all students, not just all students, and helping uh, grow our community. I chose UNCG because I love the community. I can do that when I work. That's, I felt at home, and I won't. All students around North Carolina. My question is you are interested in one thing and Kathy, but you were questioning.
want to go over the structure of HDA. Um, as you all have signed up to be part of this organization, um, in order to help with marketing, we have to know that that's a huge part of it. Um, Article 5 structure. Um, every session one, all legislative power of student government association shall be invested in the legislative branch, which is all the senators. Uh, all the executive power shall be invested in the executive branch, which is our president, as well as the executive. Cabinet, which is our secretary, as well as our agency liaison. Um, and then all powers shall be invested in the judicial branch, which will be our attorney general, who sadly is not here, but the sense of those that he went. Uh, in compliance with powers laid out in the specific part. Section two, the academic year in terms for all, for all members of the executive and legislative branch of the student government association shall begin on the last student meeting of the spring semester and on the last meeting of the spring semester following that year. So that means your turn uh, from now all the way to the next semester is the last Senate meeting that we will have. I don't know the exact date. Um, and then session three, the academic year in turn for office of all members of the judicial branch shall be made in conjunction with the office of student rights and responsibilities. Let us say the branch student senate. The student senate is made up of three freshman senators. Raise your hand, freshman senators, please. There's our freshman senators. Congratulations to them. Uh, next is three sophomore senators to my sophomore senator place. Hello to my sophomore senators. Next, we have three junior senators. Junior senators, do you the same? Hey, uh, how y'all doing? Uh, next, we have three senior senators. Where are my three? Uh, and then uh, there's two graduate student senators. Where are my graduate students? Hello, welcome to my graduate students. Thank y'all so much. Um, and then we have five community senators. Can I have five community senators wait again? Hello to you all as well. Um, are my three residential senators? Um, or are my three residential senators? Hello, hello. Five at large senators. Uh, they'll be coming up today. Um, then two student organization senators. There they are. What's up, y'all? And then one senator from each of the school, Marion School, the best school out here on campus. I hope I know that. Um, the College of Arts and Sciences. For my senator for that one, hopefully it's already. Uh, and then the College for Visual and Performing Arts, uh, the School of Education, Moni, and the School of Health and Human Sciences. Where's the senator? Right there, hello to you. Uh, and then the School of Nursing will also be coming soon, hopefully. The vice president serves as the presiding officer over the student senate, which is uh, I am currently the acting student body vice president. Um, so, uh, the election ran. Um, the vice president shall approve the following members of the legislative board, which is the legislative system, um, the treasurer who is not here, and volunteer and staff who cannot be here, and then the Senate committee chairperson, who we will all meet soon. The chairman for the board is technically what my actual position is. Uh, right now, is elected by the student senate and is responsible for filling the duties of the vice president and their actions. They also serve as a senator with all duties and privileges of that role, with the exception of being a chair of the standing committee. Continuing on, actually, that is, I that. The legislative board is made up of, again, the legislative assistant, the treasurer, commentary, and student senator, uh, and the student and the Senate committee chairperson. The board is responsible for assisting the vice president in carrying uh, out their duties, which means that uh, these four chairs, which is current concerns, finance, legislative and social justice and diversity inclusion and the elections for all the committees that we have standing currently. Um, you all will be placed on this committee next week. These committees have the same goal of advocating for the students but doing it in different ways. The president, this is the guest right here, is led by student body and as the chief representative of the the students in communication with the faculty, staff, and administration, meaning he sits on the board of trustees he has a lot of great things in the UC system as well. Uh, he's a part of the Council of Body President. Um, we'll go over what the UC system is at a later time. Um, but he serves on one of those members, and he's also responsible for appointing his executive cabinet. Um, my secretary is going to raise your hands. Those are all the secretaries out there uh, for the SGA. Um, we we're going to get to know them a lot more because you all will work in hand in hand with them hopefully this year because that's the goal of mine. 
The cabinet includes, but includes, but not limited to the chief of staff, a representative for the union, including the clinical services, our AG liaison, uh, a secretary of academic affairs, a secretary of business affairs, a secretary of student affairs, and a secretary of media affairs. This cabinet is responsible for assisting the president and all his duties as well. Again, all this information is going to be available to y'all. If you have any questions, we're going to pass. This is like, you're going to pass. And I was so happy. The attorney general, who is Peyton Upchurch, who could not be here today, um, she serves as uh, the Office of Student Rights Responsibilities and the SGA advisor is confirmed by the Senate. Her goal is to really make sure we're keeping in line with the Constitution. Um, the attorney general is responsible for advising on our constitutional matters. Uh, that could be on our Constitution or state operating procedures, thoughts on the SOPs, which you all will be have access to. As soon as you are added to the drive, you can go over that information. It's also available on our website. The Superior Court, which we have appointed about two weeks ago, uh, is made up of six members nominated by the Attorney General and the Vice President, um, three members each, and confirmed by the student Senate. The uh, just to briefly sum of the side of the Superior Court is basically the last court of appeal in case we have anything of impeachment or anything that needs to go for them. Uh, as a matter of that nature. The Attorney General typically needs that. So if any issues of that will call for the Superior Court, and then it will have to be uh, a part of the Senate that they have maybe. The Executive Council, which includes the President, the Vice President, and the Attorney General. These are the big three that lead SGA. Um, so that's just who they are. And I'll do that as the last on to UNC ASG. Uh, please give a hand as Kendall comes up to present that. Thank 
Bingo. I am currently in chair. Since I am up here in the minute talking about something, I am unofficially the chair. So uh, that means I'm guiding the meeting or any piece of legislation that comes on, uh, comes up, that may be somebody else will be up here leading it, they will facilitate that the chair. So the chair is the one that's typically behind the mic in the end of the um, Next is the president may, uh, may make non-deliberative points and participate in discussion, but cannot withhold a motion or vote. Basically means this guy right here does not have a speaking right, which will go over what those are and who has it and who don't have it. Um, it can get a little confusing, so bear with me. Um, next is the parliamentarian, uh, who Michael Meese, who sadly cannot be here, maintains the world business. So say, for instance, we're voting on something, we may have five minutes of discussion, five minutes of question and answer, all that kind of good stuff. He will basically time us and guide us through that as a role, as well as to help maintain the role. Um, we'll go over more of that later too. Um, senators and other members, uh, well, mainly the senators are the deciding body, which means you have the right to speak, you have the right to either add or ask to add to something. Um, as we said earlier, I'm back, I'm back. Um, as we said earlier, uh, can I make a motion? Can I get a motion to approve the agenda? That's basically coming to you. Um, I'll go over more of that later. So, meeting etiquette. I didn't mean to slide y'all. Raise your flagger with no fancy elbows. So, basically, like this. That way, I can see you because there's a lot of elbows back. And it's kind of hard to see. Um, so, make sure when you raise your flagger, no elbows, raise it all the way up. Um, only speak when you're recognized by the chair or the person that's up here. So, um, Shikari, do you want your flagger? So, I'll call him Shikari, and then that's none of us can talk on the Jakari to make whatever he has to say when you say it. Um, so, always make sure you're paying attention to each other and what's most of going on because maybe Jakari is going to say something that the same thing Taylor might say. And then it's fun as both of y'all to say it. So make sure you're like listening and pay attention to the regular factors and where. I didn't, yeah, I'm sorry, I keep going back. Um, stand up when you're speaking if you're able to. I'm not going to make that mandatory. Um, always say your name, position, uh, making a, when you're making a formal proposal or statement. So basically, if I have a senator again, I would say, Sidney Jones, senior senator. So I'll be called by the chair and I'll raise up my hand. And then I'll say, Sidney Jones, senior senator. And then I'll go into the motion. Or make a statement on what I'm saying. Uh, remain quiet while others are speaking during the vote or the tables are play close attention to avoid redundancies, like I said earlier. Because sometimes we're thinking the same thing, we just have to make sure we pay attention to each other. Um, this is if we have a virtual setting. So if we're on Zoom for some uh, reason, maybe uh, we have to that one meeting, uh, please just type the chat box. Honestly, we're going to really skip this because you're probably forgetting. Most of our meetings are in person. So whenever we have a Zoom meeting, I will go over all the Zoom meetings. And here is the most important part. It's called motion. The finding of motion is a formal proposal for consideration and action. Only one subject can be considered at a time, and there is no motion can be made without another motion, while another motion is on the table. So say, for instance, I'm saying, uh, Motion to end the meeting, but there's already a motion to prolong the meeting. My motion cannot go through because there's already a standing motion on the table. The um, most important thing about this year is making sure you understand how do you use motions effectively and when you use it. So, the typically we'll say, I move or I motion right there, and then you make the statement that you want to do. Um, so, it's like two plus two is four. So the first two is that move, and then the other two is whatever you want to say, which will equal the completed motion. Um, motions may be considered through an open discussion and not through presentation or question or question and answer periods. So basically, if we're presenting a piece of legislation up here, we should go into that there as well. Um, if we're in a period of the discussion or question and answer, um, the motion is only supposed to be made at the end if you're asking to move forward next period of something you cannot say i motion to do something while we're in the middle of it uh that's out of line the commentary will point for you which are the technical terms that's on the back of your tracker so you can definitely look over that um when it comes to like making some motions and that is your guide to help you understand 
So uh, we'll come back to your back if you ever get locked as well. Frequently used motion. Um, so propose an order of business to bring forth a piece of legislation or a legislation set on the table. Um, that's typically why we use uh, a minute, uh, motion um, as well as we can amend something, which we will do all this at the exercise later. It's time to do that. Okay, now we'll go and more of the page when the legislative chair comes up. Um, you can insert, strike out the strike out and insert words, use the clarify. This is not agreeing. Uh, use to clarify or improve the wording of the written motion or legislation. Uh, it must be relevant to that motion or legislation. So you can't say something that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Um, and then you can also suspend the rules. It also a violation of certain rules depending on the context. Um, say, for instance, for and something and we need more time, sometimes we can suspend the time as in the SOP. Again, we'll go over that more later. Limit or extend the limits of debate. This modifies the rules of debate, uh, such as a length of speaking time or in time or a call to question. Call to question is basically asking like clarification questions about what we're doing at that moment. Lay on the table or a table to repeat uh, is really what we typically say a table to speak legislation to a second reading or a table to speak legislation indefinitely. If we're taking a piece of legislation indefinitely, that means that legislation can never come back up. Um, or we or what I just said, postponed definitely. We typically say table to speak indefinitely um, in this SGA, but you need to check either one and go out to understand. Friendly amendment. A friendly proposal to change, amend, break out, or insert to a piece of legislation. This may be accepted or dismissed by the author or presenter of the piece. Therefore, the chair or who's presenting can say no to your amendment if they don't feel fit that it should be. This does not go for discussion with the Senate, and if dismissed by the author and still in discussion, it should be stated as a formal motion just to go through a discussion. Here is an example. Senator, I make a friendly amendment to add to, maybe I'm making a pizza. So I can say, I make a friendly amendment to add pepperoni to this pizza. The cook can say, no pepperoni on my pizza because I'm like, it's me, I'm a vegetarian. So this author can say, I dismiss that amendment because, as I said, or they can say, I accept and the pepperoni will be pizza. Any questions? This is like a midpoint, by the way, there's a little bit more. So I have all the information just covered. Is there any questions? And it's okay not to have any questions because uh, the best way to gain experience in parliamentary procedure is actually doing it. So after the session, we're going to be actually doing parliamentary procedure. Eight steps in processing the amendment. So, as I said earlier, Senator raised her hand on placard. Typically, it should be a placard before I can see you. Um, like I said, there's a lot of y'all here now, and it's hard to see all the way in the back. Step two is the chair for the person up here at the podium recognizes the member. Step three is the member states motion. So, Senator, position in eight, I move that we extend time to five minutes. The second must be called. So, could be here by somebody in Brian, you say second if they agree, and that means the motion technically went through. Or you can say so move, which means you don't require it. That is basically a second as well. Um, the chair states the motion as drug guesses, which means any dissent. If someone dissents against that motion, the person who's second must retract their second, and then the motion must be retracted as well. Basically, meaning we're going in reverse just to make sure we can understand everything. Step six, the Senate moves into a 10 minute presentation period, and then a five minute question period, and then a five minute discussion period. It doesn't last that long. It's probably a minute or two because uh, we're all working together. So once we understand what it is, we keep on going. So it doesn't have to be for that long time. Step seven, the discussion will then move into a vote. Senators may move to end the discussion early and put the motion to a vote, uh, which means I move to call the question, which means we can move forward. Or you can say I'll lose a previous question, which means we can report as well. So maybe the chair announces the results of the vote. The affirmation has this or the next has this, and the motion is adopted. Or if lost, we will not, you know. Let's break it down, motion is adopted. So again, the motion must be stated. Then there must be a second. Then there can be discussion in five minutes, sometimes not needed. 
and then four in total. This is typically during our legislation, when we're presenting legislation and trying to prove it. So whenever it's like a normal motion and we're moving to the next period or something like that, we typically do not have a discussion. Uh, time may be extended up to three times per or in the early by the motion from the Senate. If we need more time, we can suspend that time rule. That's where suspending certain rules comes in. And when the time is called, the period is over, let's propose a uh, different proposal. Let's, next is reading the piece of legislation. Uh, the proponent's speech of why the legislation is broken, written, not written, and written. In this question and answer, in discussion for five minutes, and then voting. We're actually going to do this. So, you know, it's going to be fun. Uh, hopefully, y'all like it. That's what we're going to do with our legislative chair. Um, time may be extended again to three minutes, and so on and so forth. Now, getting your point across. Sometimes you may get a point of order, which I used to get a point of order all the time back when I was secretary because I would like to speak and sometimes you can't speak, um, which brings the attention to an impression of the rules of order. Um, Anaya, say something real quick. Point of order. Anaya cannot speak because she's a secretary of student affairs, so she's not allowed to speak. So that would be a point of order unless someone used their time to her. Point of privilege pertains to a noise of personal comfort, comfort and may interrupt only if necessary. And this is used to request to leave the room if needed. But if we're not in like anything, you can just get up and leave as well, or just type in the chat. Point of privilege. Asking questions. Uh, parliamentary inquiry or point of inquiry is basically asking the parliamentary for the chair of anything that we're doing at that moment. Point of information is the exact same thing. We're just requesting information. Point of clarification is also the exact same thing. You're just trying to ask for clarification on something. So they're all kind of interchangeable. Voting. Most votes require a majority or two thirds votes. The motion can be proposed for changes. Uh, for example, a secret ballot, maybe we're voting for something. Um, that requires the secret ballot will call for a secret ballot committee of the following can pass a piece of paper to everyone and you write yay or day on the piece of paper will collect it and the voluntary will sit here and count and on the voluntary will go who votes what. Um, and the chair may affirm the vote by saying any other chair, blah blah blah. Uh, three responses for which the member may vote for is four, meaning in favor or yay, against or day meaning propose and abstain. Abstain means either yes or no, so you're just being neutral and this is it. Forms and announcement is limited to two men, but you may uh, speak more than once. This time is used by ideas, announcements, general statements pertaining to SGA. We have two different forms, which is student form, which means the students come to Senate and they would like to speak. They typically have to speak during that time. And then senator form is when we have people to bring to Senate um, and it can limit up to anything. So, like, you only have two minutes for that time, unless it's suspended. Tips be confident when making motions. Um, it's okay to make wrong motions. I used to do it a lot when I was first beginning as a senator. Um, I would just fix this motion by another senator who would explain what the motion typically is. Uh, motions are not limited to what is in the book or what we've taught you. So, we always look up more motions online as well as we practice. Take notes and Commentary parliamentary procedures not open, so please don't use that weapon to try and sign uh, your fellow senators or sign somebody else. Uh, but make sure you just don't get pricked. Any questions? Now that was a lot. Um, we're actually going to go into an exercise using parliamentary procedures that way we can get a little bit um, with our uh, list here. No, the later. Here we have the Mr. comes up. I know it's a lie, y'all.
physical. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think you all have added yet. So once you get added, you'll be added to the 99 students uh, session uh, shared drive. So anytime you want to look at anything, you can go to their perspective folder. So for him, I'm going to go to the legislative branch, Senate committees, uh, legislative, since he's on a legislative board, legis he's legislative chair. And then he said it's in legislation in the works. And here is SR9901. Um, I think you did that.
now. So really, I think that the object is on the However, I do Does the number have to be a specific number in the symbol of the place? Can you just say student law? Or, so, or a more general term to be more inclusive in case something does happen within the period of time? So that it's not like a specific number of like two students or four students or nobody being left out and everybody being covered? Yeah. Yeah. Um, However, Where is it at? Oh. Hi, can you guys you can share about this there like this? Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead
Can I think a friendly Yes. Sponsor since you're a senator. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Gracias. One more presentation. Um, once you get at it, there's a whole lot of different slides in here that you can also look over. Um, but we are going to go over expectations of senators. By our lovely legislative
Y'all see this little crack in this um, buckle right here? It may be not accessible to people who, uh, who need accessibility, such as wheelchairs or something like that, and it may hurt or stop them while they're in a wheelchair. If other people are saying, yeah, I see that it's a disease, therefore we take the disease, bring up a piece of legislation, and we'll work on what we need to work on. Next is work with our holy secretary of media affairs, raise your hands here. She does a phenomenal job with flyers are working with our SGA page. So please reach out to her. She will be your go-to girl when it comes to posting something on our SGA page or any of that. We can create flyers, again, post on our media account, as well as do newsletters. Um, these are just some generic ideas of beauty wall that you can do just to find a way to use black social media. Next is a little activity. So what I'm going to do is everybody who is, you know, a freshman senator, a senior, and so on and so forth, y'all get like a group to spread out. To spread out around the group. Oh yeah, I can do that. Freshmen, can you, freshman senators, can you be over here, please? Okay. Sophomore senators, somewhere over here. Haley Gibran, uh, Jordan Gibran here. Sophomore senators, can you go over there? Uh, junior, Alexis, can you raise your hand? Junior senators over there. Um, senior senators back there against the wall. Um, Brandon uh, senators, can you go over there? Uh, where uh, Isabella, can you raise your hand? Right there. Community senators, can you go right here where Kennedy is at? Um, then there's the schools. Actually, all the school senators, can you all work together? Right here was one of that you stood for it. Right here with Evan. Yeah. And guess what? Secretary and the exec captain, y'all join a group. We're all gonna do that too. Yeah. Any group you want to join, go join. All right. Real quick, you know, say a little hello to your team. Now is the time for activity. So, real quick, I never have to say this. Uh, maybe I'm not able to. Okay. Uh, the problem. This is something that I want all you all to do to create a program. So, this is a big problem I came up with. Um, it may be a real one, you know. Uh, the problem is, I want more engagement with my professors. Sometimes I feel like I've never cared about. Create a program or idea or a solution that you're going to do to help this is now. Y'all can just throw out the top of your you can be right here. It's only y'all get up.
Uh, sorry, it's a long one, so I'm trying to get y'all. You ain't see everything? I mean, if you did have to leave, just reach out to me and I can go over stuff. All right, back to our normal student program. So, this is student form. Any student present and wishing to speak may speak up for two minutes to one of those forms I was telling you about. So, those are behind me. Sit here. So, we're going to keep on. We don't have any old business. No new business. Now, we're going to go into the executive council report. First up is President Fox. What's up, everyone? Um, yeah. um, good morning. You all get to know me now. I love to talk. So it's kind of weird for me to talk in this type of setting. But basically, um, just a rundown, we give uh, reports to every meeting, basically what we've been doing. So I'll start off with mine. Um, first of all, I have office hours Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the 4th to 5 p.m. And I'm located in my office, which is on the third floor of the UC. Um, Whenever you all want to come talk to me or anything, um, just a text or a phone call away, I'm really open. I love to communicate with you guys. But if you, um, you're up there and you want to talk to me, I'm mostly always in my office, so you can come stop by, even if they're without um, those hours. Um, what I've been up to, so executive council meetings with um, Sydney, Kate, and Garrett, um, to talk about um, um, everything that's been going on and, uh, and you know, really getting this presentation going. Council student body president is with ASG. Um, had a meeting where we talked about um, you know, the issues that we brought up to preventative health and some of the issues that we've been thinking about doing or influencing on the USC to the system wide. Um, some things that we can do on the individual level too. Um, and I'll have more updates on that once we meet again. Uh, USC can use, use a magazine. I did a couple of uh, stories and articles on that. Um, they're really just asking about goals for SGA and, you know, Something that I've been really advocating for is just really student engagement. Um, I really do encourage all of you all to really reach out to these issues. These, um, these roles that you all have been elected into, right, elected by President Tito, because it's nothing like um, we're all the voice. Well, I honestly, Senate, you are all the voice, right? I couldn't even, I don't even have to speak your right. So I need y'all to really understand how powerful you all are and what type of changes that you all can make here on campus. So that's uh, some of the things that I've wanted to uh, promote within that story. Um, the Be Well G Aromatherapy, I actually went with Edmund and Kendall, and they, I think they're doing it in what, tomorrow. Yeah, so it was in Zelia and the UC, and we actually gave uh, aromatherapy. Yeah, it was, it was um, they have crazy flavors. Like, they smell like the first one was like citrus. Oh, I've never done that before, so it was all really good for me. I'll probably go back again tomorrow and ask them to But um, then today, I had a disability visibility meeting. Um, honestly, an amazing committee. I went in. Um, this was not the first meeting. meeting. They actually invited me to join and talk about the student have. And they had like so many things going, like only three meetings in. And the, the, a lot of the initiatives that you all will be seeing will be going in effect on very uh, surely. Right. So, my bad. I don't know, it was like some of the things that we're talking about, like uh, the lawn, people are part of the area, like visual accommodations, some of the things that we don't see on campus that other students may see. You know, uh, trying to destigmatize mental health uh, concerns or like accommodations, really pushing for words. Um, yeah, so, so that basically going down where orders will be having them come and talk to us and I'll be within them in probably November. And try to actually come and push for all of us to help destigmatize some of this stuff on campus um, and really promote like the resources that we do have on campus because without those resources, we're really uh, not where we should be, right? So, what's coming on for you now? Better take the council meeting, uh, me and Isabel, all the team of staff, talking about everything one on ones, uh, executive cabinet, we'll talk about it tomorrow at 5 15. Um, I'll be ready for that. Cabinet. 
Sangre Lanitoro, being collab with my academy to help you all really reach the proper admin, vice chancellors, and those higher ed people in, uh, at the university. If you ever have any ideas, please reach out to all of them. We have psychotherapy with me and everything. Uh, like I said, orders are coming, and if not, come to the vice president of the year. And then, uh, song of the week is something that I'm still like, okay, I'm right, I'm going to that song, but, um, you know, sometimes with everything going wrong, um, basically, it's just right? Um, and I also know the most powerful warriors are patience and time. So please, like, be still, take some breath. Um, if things get rough, just remember that, you know, the time we're in right now is crisis, right? Uh, we always want to live in a moment. Sometimes we think about the future all the time, and then when the future gets here, we want to think about it. Uh, time is precious, and please just have patience with yourself. Um, you only understand yourself, right? Every situation, every experience you've been through, you only understand it. So take care of yourself first, mentally, uh, physically, anything. And this all I also want to say that I'm also here for everyone. If you ever want to talk outside of SGA, anything outside of SGA, I'm here. Um, I just support and only back up changing themselves, but they're also here for your support and really just trying to uh, build the sense of community that we have in the SGA within SGA, right? So um, another thing is like, I don't want everyone here to really, I want everyone to engage. We should be talking to each other outside of just today meetings, right? Um, we should, the closer we get together, the more ideas we have, the more vulnerable we, we are with each other, which leads to hard conversations would lead to the changes that we want to take. So uh, that's it for my report. I just want to congratulate all the senators and please let me know if y'all have anything. Now on the attorney general report of the year. Uh, I think it's going to take a certain office hours up there and send this to like our email. Uh, what she's been up to, she just turned 22. Uh, she went to follow up our birthday. Uh, she's been volunteering at the PNC. She's also working on our standard operating procedures review, which is one of our governing docs, uh, meetings within the OSRR, the Office of Student Rights and Responsibilities. Sadly, we turned and working. And even if some pictures of all the feedback was different. Uh, coming up for our first, we had conflicting decisions, disciplinary orders, capstone uh, meetings in the pod, and myself and very proceeded. And she said, I'm so sorry I wasn't able to attend the meeting tonight. Of the week, people goes more went well. I hope you all have an amazing week. We're all doing great work. Remember while you were here, if you have to meet, if you need anything, please tell us to close here. Uh, be there about your goals. Be flexible. Now on to me, my report. Yeah. Uh, just so we can start with being vulnerable with each other. This is a picture of me when I was like, Hey, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be. Hey, hey, put your phone down, Devin. So, all the hours on Monday, Wednesday, to Friday, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., and Tuesday to Thursday, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, Miles is right beside us, uh, the second floor. We're actually going to take you along by the HA cubicle that's going to be over here. You can see it, but um, that's also up here. Uh, you can see it has the HA logo. Um, so, what I'm going to do, fall break. Next, we had the Student Peace Committee. Shout out to Riley and Sierra for coming with me to that meeting with uh, Dr. Boyer, the finance manager. Give me one. With that being said, um, there will be no tuition and fees, uh, tuition and fees committee uh, advised for no increased tuition or fees this uh, the next academic year. That has the recommendations from us in the committee that goes to the chancellor. However, the chancellor may say, mm, no, we're going to increase. So he does have that power along with the board of trustees. However, he more than likely goes by the recommendation of the committee. So we decided as a committee that we do not want to increase any tuition or fees for the next semester. I mean, the next school year. Uh, I also went to the council student body president's meeting. I have my legislative board meeting today, as well as for our orientation today. I'm playing Senator one on one. Uh, that's going to be an opportunity for me to get to know all the new senators more, as well as the old senators a little bit better. Uh, they're going to do probably like 15, 20 minutes of meeting just to see where your head is at and what you want to do. 
And of course, in all caps, new editors, welcome. I am so excited you all here. We're going to do some great things, y'all. I feel so good about it, all of us. We're going to be great. Uh, what's coming up for me is Saturday classes. Y'all are fine. Executive Council meeting, Student Advisory Council, October 26th. So, Student Advisory is just a uh, group of students, student leaders that meets with the Vice Chancellor of um, Student Affairs, as well as our advisors back there, which I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Um, I'm going to not let Cheryl introduce myself, but I apologize. Uh, as well as Ryan for VP. Um, I have a song this time. I couldn't find a song, but honestly, if it was, it's going to be 24 by Kanye West. I love John Justin, my album, more. I bought it all the time. Um, but the quote I have today, especially for my new senators, is follow today so you can be tomorrow. Be the change that you want. So also, I'm not perfect, but I'm solid. Uh, so that means no matter what's going to come against us, what's going to come against me, I'm not perfect. I might stumble a little bit, but I'm solid. I'm going to fight it back. I'm going to stand still. So that's my encouragement to you all. We're all not solid. We're going to be we're all not perfect. We're solid. All right. I meant that all of, like I said. We're all people, so um, don't get upset with yourself when everything gets bad. Don't get pressured with yourself. Work to push through all that good stuff. Senator Form, any senators may speak up to two minutes at the time. I'm not saying yes yet. All right, real quick, I'm going to let our healthy advisors in the back introduce themselves. I'm coming to the front. There's none. Are there any announcements? This can be anything SGA related or outside of SGA. Anybody have fun?
Hi everyone, my name is Stacey and I'm here in today. And I know that um, the past couple of weeks we've been talking about um, dining with this group. And um, I met with dining last week, and so we have exciting news coming. Um, I know one of the concerns was for underclassmen primarily not having access to dining throughout the evening and night of the week. So um, dining has um, a 24 hour section that will be a part of the Candid Express in the bottom level of the dining hall. Um, it will be coming soon in spring 2022, and it's going to be a 24 hour kind of like section where they'll have like a pizza um, vending machine and some sour vending machine, other types of uh, vending machines that are all 24 hour options. Um, and it'll be like CPAP um, at the festival. So, yeah, that's coming soon. So, hopefully, you know, no students will have to go hungry because of that. As well as, um, we also shot a quick video um, to just portray UNCG um, less options on and off campus. So, that just might look like, you know, on campus, of course, um, having access to Chick fil A, as well as off campus, having access to East Coast Queens and other restaurants like that. Um, so just check out the UNCG Dining um, Instagram page, and we're going to make sure we get that video on the UNCG um, SBA page as well. Chairman Profile. Uh, before she starts, uh, all my I'm going to take out some quick seconds. I'm going to take out a chair to show you where the news at.
Okay, before, before we turn, yeah, um, sorry. The placards, this is the uh, table. Uh, we'll, we'll click. Oh. 